welcome to another TNK broadcast. Not a podcast, a broadcast. All right, guys, this is Blue Angel here with Bombay. How you doing, Bombay? Pretty good. How about you? I'm doing good. How's everybody else doing? Oh, you can't answer. Oh, Just you can comment you... below on the video. Oh, you can't. Right after know. you like it. Yes. <laughs> and then subscribe. <laughs> okay, cool. So, this is round two of our Easter tournament, yeah? Yep. Okay, cool. So, in the last video, if you watch it, you'll get to know all the cool little Easter eggs. I'm only going to announce them as they come up this time. Uh, but essentially, Easter tournament has little challenges we call Easter eggs, but it's a standard 100-point tournament. So, what do we have going on for Mitch? All right, so you saw him in the last video. It's the same squad. He has Pure Sabak with Veteran Instincts, the title and lightweight frame, Howrunner, Crackshot, two black squadron pilots with Crackshot, Wampa, and Academy pilot, all at 100 points. Nice. And our, oh, Mitch's opponent, Sam Kirk. Now, I don't know if I, Sam, I love you, but I don't know if I like your name because if you were a captain, I have to address you as Captain Kirk, and this is Star Wars. I mean, I don't know. All right, but anyways, that's, that's a tangent. Uh, he's flying Poe Dameron, the PS8 version, in a Black One title, Integrated Astromech, BB-8, Gold Squadron Pilot, BTL-A4, TLT, Plasma Torpedoes, Extra Munitions, and R5-D8. That's the one where if you roll a Focus or Evade, you get to discard a face-down damage card. Uh, next, we're flying a rookie pilot with R5 Astromech, and he's got an integrated Astromech, and then Bandit Squadron Pilot with nothing. Just straight up 12 points. Spiller. Not even got his chips. Not even got his chips. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I kind of like both lists here. Um, Sam's is very similar to Paul Heaver's 2015 Worlds list, except for um, he downgraded Biggs to a rookie pilot, and then upgraded the Gold Squadron. Um, with R5-D8 and Plasmas. Um, and then he kind of switched Poe around with no regen and the black one title. Yeah. Um, so a little bit different twists, same ships, but different upgrades. I like black one, though. With, I like With BB-8. Yeah, I like black one in this meta. Um, yeah. Um, it's very nice, especially with Torpedo Scouts, mm -hmm. where you can boost out, and so they have to try to reacquire Targok again. Yep. Um, with... Um, R4 or Agramek. And it's so. boost or barrel roll, isn't it? Boost or barrel roll. So with BB-8, you take it off. Take before. the free barrel roll, then you could boost if you for the position. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have an EPT, even a free one. Um, trick shot or adaptability. He might not just have yeah. the ships, though. Or maybe even uh, a debt to pay, too. So or a debt to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just might not have those uh, expansions. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of options with zero EPTs now. It's like you can throw in a different mix of stuff, whatever you want to feel like that day, you know? Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, so what do we got going on here? So they're still, still setting, setting up. up. Okay. I think asteroid placement is something that's kind of... A lot of players, they just take their rocks and just throw it anywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very important, though, I think. It is. What I do with lists, I'm just starting out. I kind of do that, where I start them anywhere, and then I evaluate how I like the rocks after the game. Yeah. And then I start... As I practice with the list more, then I start feeling comfortable with how I want the asteroids to lay out. Yeah. Um, and even had a lot to do with opening the setup, because when I play, I'll actually have, a, for three of my placements, I have very specific spots for all three of my placements, because I have a pre-measured starting area where if my rocks are in the right places, I have five different options I could take to open the matchup and in which direction. Yeah. So, I mean, I like to make sure I have my position good, and then when I set up, it looks like I'm set up behind the rocks, like with the rocks directly in front of me. So my opponents get a little confused, like, there's a rock directly in front of him. What's he going to do with that rock? You know, where is he going to yeah. go? And I know where I'm going based on where he's set up. And so I can really have a really strong opening that way. Yeah. Um, so this is the PS8 version of Poe, not the PS9. Just yeah. so our viewers know. Um, but let's say if they didn't have any overlap on pilot skill and everything was being equal, would you, and you won the initiative roll, Okay. Would you want them to place the rock first, or you to place the first rock? If I was flying this list? Any list. Just say any Well, if list. I was flying my list, I want to place the first rock. Just so you place your, your get, rock where My key rock where I need it. Okay. My key starting rock. Because yeah. you can't put rocks within range of another rock. Yeah. Right? So if I put my one here, I know the other rocks are going to be a certain distance from this one, which works for my opening. Yeah. I like that. Um, 
for me personally, since I don't have a set, I really only have, for my list I'm running, I have one rock where I want it to be. Right. But it depends on which side, depending on how where they place their first rock. And so I kind of want them to start out where the battlefield is going to be, and mm-hmm. then I can kind of create the battlefield how I want it to be. Right, based so, on their rock, and you can so I always like it from there. Yeah, I always like placing second. So I usually give an issue away. And then you can place the final rock right in their face. That too. <laughs> um, it's also nice too, like, you never know, you could get two PS zeros at the end. And it's like, yeah. I want to move after. Yeah. So. See, so there's no wrong answer to this, guys, but make sure when you guys place your rocks, you pay attention. Because it can make a difference. Yep. You know, so. They got the circle going around. I know. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Wonder if they're going to go straight into that. I want to see him dogfight in the middle of the asteroid ring. That'd be fun. You don't want to do that with the swarm, though, because they're just going to... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's like bottlenecking all your guys. Yeah, trapping trapping you in there. Hey, he's measuring bound range one! Oh. (laughs) (laughs) So, regular swarm layout here. Box. The staggered box is better, I think. I like staggered box because it's more uh, lenient. If, yeah. If you make a, like a little nudge mistake, nudge or anything, it's not messing up the entire formation. Yeah. And uh, it's better for diagonal too. If you end up going diagonal at somebody, you got more of your ships that are kind of more lined up. Yeah. You know. Um, I do think the swarm has a better advantage here because the black squadrons, Wampa and Howard and Sabak are all higher than all, th- or are those three ships there? Wow. Uh, with them being at PS2. So he only has how many ships at PS1? Uh, Academy Pilot, that's it. Just one. Just one. Yeah, there's definitely an advantage for the so Empire here. So you can here. alpha uh, ship off the board. Before and hopefully you can alpha the X-Wing because that one rolls more dice than the Z95. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a this primo target number one there. Yep. So over right here he set up outside all the asteroids where... Uh, Mr. Kirk, not Captain Kirk. That's copywritten. Or tra- yes, copywritten, right? Captain Kirk. All right. So, anyways, Sam Kirk here is setting up, going into the asteroids, and Mitch set up outside the asteroids. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sam has a National Predators hat on. Does he? He does. I do not like that. I'm voting for Mitch. Welcome to another episode of <laughs> Things Bombay Hates. Yeah. <laughs> National. Uh, what is that? It's a hockey team. Okay, yeah. yeah. And you're Bombay because you like the Ducks. Yep. Quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> uh, we digress. This isn't Star Wars anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I did think about one time, like, painting all my ships, like... You should paint them orange. I was thinking about painting them... That'd be so cool. Orange, or uh, painting them, like, Mighty Ducks colors. Okay, the, purple, the teal. Or the teal and the eggplant. Yeah. But, um... Teal and purple's fine. I don't like yeah. that Eggplant on me. Well, it's actually jade and eggplant. Jade so, and eggplant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Anytime it's going it to charge for a cornflower now instead of powder blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just too lazy. I don't want to pay people to do it too. So maybe I can get JR to paint my ships. Well, you know, one of those Warhammer guys at the store does a really good job with painting ships, and it's not very expensive. Yeah. But again, it's all mine. They look nice. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Should do it. Maybe we should put paint jobs back in league prize support again. Maybe. 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 So we are in an awesome league up here, guys. We have, like, it's $15 interviews. So people may say it's a little too much, but I think it's just right because you get eight weeks of play, a tournament, and, like, almost $200 of prize support, like, every time. So it's really cool. Yeah, it's really nice. And there's, like, no limit on games played. You can play it whenever you want. Yep. Um, you just post on our Facebook page again, uh, SCGC X-Wing Minis. Yes. And also, uh, remember to check out the X-Wing page, or the Facebook page called Roof Co. X-Wing Tour. Yep. Um, oh, and real quick about our league that we're going to be doing going, this is, we just started it, but we're going to be doing it going forward pretty much until forever, um, is once you get your league, because every round you have like, to get a minimum of matches, usually it's like one game a week, but once you get your minimum matches in for that round, 10% off X-Wing purchases. Nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very nice. So. Oh, man. And everybody just... always gets something, too, in League. Everybody yeah. gets something. So, So man, they're filling up the score sheets beforehand. Man, they're confident, <laughs> they're confident. on the outcome. 
<laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. Oh, here we go. Game started. Big Game on. Four forwards. So, what would you say the local meta is like right now? Just for this our store. For our store? Yeah. Um. Well, Mitch is running tie swarms. Uh, Joe's running that ghost Kanan or Kanan Biggs list. Mm-hmm. Um, you're running your anti ace kind of build. Shh. With I'm not saying <laughs> what's in it. Uh, uh, that kind of kills like any aces. Yeah, it's an ace killer. I'm running my my rules list, and not gonna say what it is. No, don't do it. Actually, no. This video is coming out after rules. It no, actually, it's not. It's not. No. Okay. Then I won't say it. No, I don't say it. Yeah. Um, it's coming out before May fourth. I think so. I want to have them all done before May fourth. Okay. Um. So yeah. So that's mine. Let's see who else. Oh, it's very scattered. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a couple people practicing double jump fin. Okay. Some people call it row boats or grass holes. So not too or... much on the stress side of things, huh? Yeah, not too much stress. Um, Ruben is kind of messing around with some stress effects, too. Um, a lot of people are helping me practice for worlds, also. So they're running various so things that you running might various see, right? things I might see, so... Um, so it's kind of at a point where after the FAQ, things change. There's not, like, any defenders anywhere. Because I, I stopped running them before the FAQ changed. Yeah. Deb was still running them, but... Um, they've been kind of busy, yep. so they haven't been in the store too often. So, we'll see. I think uh, store championship season ours is at June twenty fourth at SCGC. Yep. Um, I think the medal kind of find its that place. That won't be local medal either, but that, that won't be, be a local medal. But I think the medal will find its place because the because worlds will happen. Yep. And everyone's gonna copy whatever top sixteen lists was yep. at worlds. So, hopefully, it'll be mine. I think that's kind of, uh, hopefully you'll be on there. That'd be really awesome. It'd be really cool. But I think that's kind of weird that people copy the top 16 lists because you're not that player, right? All those players design lists to fit their specific play style. But they also design the list to beat other competitive lists. Right. I, I don't mind people copying um, lists. I don't mind either. I just think it's kind of strange. Like, I wouldn't copy, like, usually when I watch top 16 lists... None of those fit me. Like I would never fly any of those lists. Yeah, uh, because it's not the way I play. You know. Yeah. So. Either, either way, um, the one disadvantage of netlisting is that people know how to play against that list. Yeah, they practice um, it. They whereas, it. like your advantage, a lot of times with different lists is people like your list does what after like their <laughs> list just died. Um, so that that's one disadvantage of running netlist but i don't have a problem with it like who cares mm-hmm. like people enjoy the game for flying more than list building yeah. some people like list building more than flying so or some people like both yeah so it's not a big deal i don't get why people have problems with it either way so. i don't have a problem with that i just yeah. i'm a different thinker yeah so like i said no right or wrong answer to a bunch of these things today yeah <laughs> Boots of speed. <laughs> All right, so rebels are already planned in. They got a strategy, and the empire, which you think would have a strategy, is taking a little longer. Probably coordinating a whole team is tough. Yeah, there's a lot of dials to set. There's a lot of dials to set. <laughs> One, two, three, four, six, six dials. I was running a seven tie swarm, and uh, this is only six. Mm-hmm. And again, you kind of ha- it's kind of five, and then the extra ace here. Yeah, there goes that kind of um, first. I think. <laughs> yeah, and so when I was running the seven tie swarm, it was just so much. Mm-hmm. Like, even the six was so much. Like, I can't do that for seven rounds at Worlds. Um, but I know how to beat tie swarm. Yeah. So it's one of the matchups I'm probably gonna see because it is coming back in the meta. Um. So we'll see where kind of the meta shifts. I do think Imperials are at a really bad spot. Oh, yeah? I do. Um, with Palp being nerfed and the whole, like, kind of faction being based around Palp. Yep. Um, kind of hurts. Uh, the strongest ships are Defenders and F- SFs. They're both very... They don't do very good against Stress. And with Stress coming back in the meta, because freaking Paul Heaver had to win Naboo with the Stress Hog. Um... <laughs> That 
it's going to be prevalent. So like my list, I had I had to account for it, I had to yeah. build around it. Um, and that's why right there, you guys, is why you offset your yeah uh, so formation. It's, it's so close there. Mm-hmm. Also, Imperials don't do good against bombs, and that's like there's a lot of bombs. Forty eight point Miranda is like everywhere with a bunch of bombs. With Sabine, actually, aka Satan. So. <laughs> Well, other than that, Trevor hates Sabine. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I think it's more advanced slam is a problem. Yeah. Um, than, than Sabine. Okay. Because he can just bump anywhere. Like last episode we were talking about, he can just He's bump anywhere in an in, in, in arc. Against a good good caving player. Yeah. And you can tell a good caving player versus a bad caving player. How's that? Um, because I'm like looking at him like, oh, he could totally bomb me. If he doesn't bomb me, I'm like, I haven't moved yet. You should be able to bomb me. I know how you can bomb me. Yeah. You should be able to do it. And they don't bomb me. It's like, okay, you did not see that? Yeah. Um, so, but I'm so glad K-Wings, like, are sold out everywhere. Or everyone <laughs> be practicing them. And it, then everyone would be good at it. Because it doesn't take too long. No, you can figure out pretty good. quickly. Yeah. So. Ooh, did he get the rock? Nope. Nope, he's good. And then you can just BB-8 on the other side of that rock. Ooh, that'd be fine. Kind of separate a little bit. Because it doesn't have big, so it doesn't need to stay in close, yeah. Also, on a lot of the starter lists that FFG's putting out, oh, like four of them have, like, well, all the ones for Rebels have K-Wings in them. Yeah, I find that funny. Yeah. Oh, and then the last one they just came out. Uh, the, the Another K-Wing. And they got a rule wrong, didn't they? got they? a rule wrong, yeah. They put uh, a Segi in there to help out bigs. I think But it doesn't work on defense. It. It, the concept works because Biggs focuses and Asegi focuses. That means Biggs can use his token for defense and Asegi's for attack. And yeah. the concept's there. They just they they just garbage it up. Yep. <laughs> There's always a mistake in FFG's articles. It, it, I think it, it's like a thing now, right? Yeah. Like, it's like they it's, have to. It has if it's to not happen. a mistake, you know it's not an official article. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The tie strikers are all by itself. I like that though, because you think he's baiting them. Well, if he turns in, he's screwed because the whole tie swarm's now behind him. Yeah. So he has to let Sabat kind of roam free. Oh, ouch! And you got this like four die shot coming at you. Now his Sabak is at twenty three, twenty five points. Yep. Would you take Sabak with the with the title and stuff like how he has it, or a pilot skill? Or a Sigma Squadron pilot that's a TIE Phantom that always is going to have four dice with lightweight frame at 27 points. Oh, because Phantom can take lightweight frame, huh? Yep. Phantom, it's got more maneuverability, I think, with the decloak. And you don't always have to cloak or not, too. Yeah. So, I think that's an interesting option. People keep doing pure Sabacc. Well, he's at PS8, so it's kind of it's a lot better well, for that the aspect. The highest Phantom is, what, 7? Uh, that's Echo. But I'm talking about Sigmas. They're at 2. Oh, they're at 2. So you have the pilot skill advantage, too, with the TIE Striker. But you have two shields, two hull, instead of four hull. So crits, you're not... You're like not immune to some crits. crits. Okay. Um, so I, it's kind of, I think it's a part of list building that the Imperials haven't touched yet. The lightweight frame with the TIE Phantom. That'd be awesome, because... When you cloak, no, when you roll dice, right? When you roll dice. Okay. If if someone's shooting five dice at you and you're cloaked, then lightweight frame will trigger. But <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's more lightweight frames there because you don't have to cloak now. All yeah. The time. You don't have to. You're not supposed to cloak all the time for the defense yeah. dice. So you don't have to run whisper. You can run the other ones now. Yeah. I think it opens up some of the the play. Yep. And a stitch on particle accelerator. Could you imagine that? Decloak getting a V token. Well, that's a mod. Oh, that's right. He's a lightweight frame. Takes a lightweight frame. That's nice, though. I, I ran a Sigma with advanced sensors and um, Stygian particle accelerator. Yeah. And, like, I'm, like, anywhere on the board that I want. It's pretty nice. <laughs> and, and I get a Vade and a Focus. I used to run a Hawk 290 with the Cloak from Scum. Yeah. With the particle accelerator, because it's not Empire only. Right? Okay. And so I'd roll up with my uh, short-range turret. I would Cloak... At range three, so that so now I have my Hawk two ninety had a five dice defense. <laughs> yeah. With an invade token. And well, a, <laughs> there's a, there's a new trick with the new um, C Rock that's coming out. Yeah. Um, and there's that new crew in it 
Let me get the name of it. Okay. Um, but you could equip uh, the what's it called the uh, cloak. What's it called your cloaking device? Cloaking device. Yeah. Um, and then this crew. Yeah. Uh, so Visago, you can replace a face-up illicit with another illicit. So you cloak first round, and then as soon as that happens, then you replace it with another illicit. Now you don't have cloaking device, but you're cloaked. So you're permanently cloaked until you want to decloak. Oh, because if you're cloaked for the end of the round, you normally have to roll in a cloaking Yeah, but you don't have that card anymore. So you don't have to roll for it. So you don't have to roll for it. And you're still cloaked. But then you can't decloak without the card, though. You can decloak, because cloaking is an action. You don't have to have a Oh, decloaking is not yeah. an action? Decloak is not an action. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so then you get this... So you can put it on, like, a quad jumper yeah. that has the action to where you're, like, moving people, tractor beam. Yeah. You put it on the one that, like, when you go three speed, you roll, like, an extra die. Yeah. And so now you're cloaked, roll an extra die, and you're moving people around. <laughs> and you just don't shoot. You just don't yeah. shoot. And you put, put like, a... Feedback array, if you wanted to, on it or whatever, yeah. whatever illicit. Yeah. That's the same well, same price. Array, didn't they array that you have to have to be able to attack in order to use it? Uh, so if you're cloaked, you can't feedback. Oh yeah, that is a good question. I'm not sure, so that might not work. Yeah. Like glitter we'll stem or up. something. But yeah. Um. So any anything that even like glitter stem might be really good. Yeah. Because there's opportunity where oh I got this five die shot from Ray that's coming, I'll glitter stem. Now I'm rolling a bunch of dice. Yeah. And Focus and I probably took the evade action. If they have an evade action, I'm not sure. They probably do. <laughs> They're little ships. That's pretty fun. Yeah. All these new fun combos for scum coming out. Yeah. Empire gets nothing. Empire gets nothing. Well, now that they nerf Palpatine, we may see some nicer stuff coming out for Empire. Yeah, the quad TLT pack is coming out. Yeah. <laughs> kind of glad they nerfed it now. You know, because maybe that's why they nerfed it. They go, oh, shoot. We yeah. can't have quad TLTs and Emperor Palpatine doing what he pleases, right? Yeah. So. No, I think they nerfed it because the defenders. Uh, they had to nerf both, kind of. To make it balance. To make it balance. I guess you wouldn't have quad TLTs and Palp. You'd have, like, yeah. three TLTs and Palp or two TLTs yeah. and Palp. I think with the Thai <laughs> Aggressor that's coming out with the TLTs, um, I think three of them with Lightweight Frame and TLT and the Captain Jonas. Okay. Where we get rerolls. Yep. And have him like have unguided rockets or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so they get re rolls and focus. Oh, you can put general hucks on him, things like that. Yep. So they get focuses on top of their regular action. I think that's gonna be really fun. So they they they, they could get double focus tokens with TLTs. Yep. Ouch! Ouch! Time. But but they're two agilities with less less hole and shields. Yeah. So like. They won't last as long as they're not as durable as a Y wing. They can get like one shot or two shotted. Yeah, because Y wing oh, is very. By hard. the way, guys, we are watching the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're still moving. There's a bunch of Tie Fighters. I know. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, we haven't talked about the game in a while. But yeah. sorry to interrupt. But yeah, this, is, this isn't a podcast. This is a broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Tie Fighters they two banked in, and then Sabak just kind of adapted yeah. aileron around that arc. And nothing's been happening as far as damage dice go yet. So I just yeah. wanted to. Before we get too, too distracted. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's been a good chat. We should yep. start a podcast. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Maybe we should dub over all of our, or just take the audio from our videos. And, and then just call put, it a podcast. There we go. <laughs> we uh, could do that. Comment below if you want a podcast. Well, who's going to run it? I don't know. All right, we'll figure it out. If you guys want a podcast, we'll figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. We got enough team kid members; they can do something. Now, would we be a local podcast? Where we just talk about like our local meta, like SoCal meta, or would it be like Nation podcast? We would be a, a local slash whatever we want. Whatever we want, we yeah. just talk about whatever, <laughs> like we're doing now. Yeah. Because I know there's like that Evergreen podcast uh -huh. in like Seattle. And they just pretty much focus on their meta. Yeah. Whereas most of all the other ones, through Nation or... Well, I think it's also good to kind of hear what other metas are out there at their local areas of the general landscape of everything, because then you can see those small things that you can expect somewhere else, too. Yeah. Like you can go to, like, I think tour champs and stuff like that. If we did a podcast, do, like, a mixture of, like, a casual and competitive? Yes. Or we yeah. see, like, the lists that do well that are, like, really weird, and we actually, like, focus and play them and stuff. That'd be okay. Cool. All right, so oh, shooty, shooty. Uh, Poe shoots, gets, like, four hits. 
and two evades takes one card. So it's three hits. Nice. All right, and that's probably on Howl Runner, I'm assuming, because usually you shoot at Howl Runner. Yeah, if Howl Runner goes first, then you're gonna oh no, that that wasn't screen. Howl Runner. Nope, that wasn't a Howl Runner because Howl Runner's at the over here with that crack shot. Because that one doesn't have crack shot. That's Academy or Wampa. Okay. It might be Wampa. Um, if it's Wampa, he's probably doing. It well, to... look at the cards. What that one has like a nice orange reddish background. Let's see here. I know you guys can't see because the overlay is covering it, but we can see it. <laughs> oh, sorry. A little, a little much there. A little bit. All right. Let's see here. I'll check it out. All right. So while he's doing that, Sabak shooting the range one shot with no mods and one hit. One evade? Oh, no. He spends a focus for the evade. So I found playing my list when I shut down Finn's focus token. His range one shot isn't nearly as good anymore. Um, and so, Fen, I'm not too worried about anymore with my list. And it is, he did shoot the Academy Pilot, and the Hall Runner is completely safe so far. Okay. okay. It's kind of odd choice shooting the Academy Pilot. Maybe try to shoot... PS kill it? Yeah, PS kill it, yeah. It's only when you can PS kill. Yeah. Um, he spends it to get one. He crack shots. Right? Nope. No. Nope. He must have overspent. Reroll, three hits. Two dice. Blank focus. Blank paint. Blank paint. Must be an evade. Oh. So two shields. Oh, and a damage card. Well, not shooting at Poe. So he, the bounty for the integrate first damage card has already been used. Yeah, it's R2. I need more room for eggs. Yep. And it's where you eject R2 on your first damage card. Yeah. So he took he's taking another two damage, but I think he forgets about integrated at all. I think and so. And he just pulls a ship off the table. Because it'd be nice to waste have him waste more dice at a chip that's yeah, gonna that's, die. That's huge. It's big. Because if he can get him to spin a crack shot or anything like yeah. that on a ship that's about to die anyways, yep. that'd be huge. But uh, missed opportunity. Integrated is a May, so uh, so three dice coming at uh, probably the ship that he's already shot at, maybe. Oh, and that was his last tie, too, before the PS1. Yep. So that means that ship would have had a shot at something. Yep. Dang, that is, that's big. That's real big. Yeah. TLTs. Now, I don't like the way his anti is posi positioned here. Couldn't he have banked it in with the rest of with the, the X-Men? Yeah. The, uh... Well, because he needed the Z95 to block. If he can just... Jam that Z95 up in there. Yeah. Block a couple focuses. You're going good. That's now, like given he took ship. a or he did roll a bunch of naturals and with re rolls with hits, yeah. And he has a bunch of focuses, but could screw up his formation. Mm -hmm. Z95 is going to die fast anyways. Uh, there's the blanks and the and one hit. hit and one evade. Woohoo! All right, so. Um, this next round, I'm guessing two banks for the ties, clog up everything. Whatever ship you're not bumping, just shoot at it. <laughs> you shoot at it? <laughs> Move to speed, everybody. Point and shoot. What I would do, the Academy, oh, actually no, the Academy, see this is why I don't like this version of the list. That Academy Pilot's PS1. If I was having my version with the PS4, I wouldn't move that front tie first. I would like one hard and bump everyone into, into that. the back of it. Mm -hmm. So I'd self-bump, and then that one tie would just do like a 4K. Yeah. Um, see, now he's forced to move. See, so he's, he's doing the one tight and going to try to bump that way. I, I don't know. I think there's and more. facing the wrong way, and yeah. it could be better position. Yeah. I, I just like more. You have more chance to self-block with everyone in the PS, yeah. same PS level. That's why I prefer it. I get it. I do it too sometimes. If I have, yeah. if I have say, PS ships, like if I can run, like, um, I have a list I made where I have triple sevens, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, yes, this is so cool. I have the advantage of choosing who I want to move first and where and when. You know, it's like, yeah. it's really nice. Well, it's like my, my rules list. Um, Let's talk like about that. it. I don't, I don't want to talk about it, but. Because <laughs> this may or may not be after Worlds. Yeah. I can't promise you. 
But like that that list is so helpful that they're all PS8. Yeah. I've never had a list that's been that helpful. You're talking about it. I know, I know. But giving out information. Uh, so they won hard. Um, that's kind of odd. They didn't self block. Maybe he's just trying to eliminate that Z95 really quick. That would do it. Yeah. But then why can the Kyrie tie the other way? A block Poe. So Poe has no mods. Poe's going to get blocked anyways, probably. Yeah. So Z95 K turns not going to have any mods. It's not going to matter anyways because he has crack shot and probably is only going to roll and focus anyways. So. Now I would turn this Y away. But he goes 4K. Well, yep. he had BTLA4. Has to. Oh, he has BTLA. Hmm. Why does he not have the stress hog then? Or the stress bot? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have the card. Maybe. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It comes in the talkative. Yeah. Maybe so the Tantive is coming the. Um... Oh, Corvette, probably. Uh, the Tantive is the Corvette. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the Transport. Transport. There you go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have either of them. I always have to borrow like. Because cards. the Tantive doesn't have any X Wings in it, so. Yeah. I always have to borrow cards for that. No worries. Yeah. I got your back. <laughs> so he's going to BB-8 with Poe. Right. So that's like both so hard to block anyway. So. Yeah. And then one straight. I'm guessing. Well. Ooh, one bank. That's interesting. I'll let him move Poe back for it. I think he's going to bump again anyways. Yeah. He didn't move his barrel all the way back. So, yeah. So, he was hoping probably to bump that second TIE fighter right there, not yeah. that front one, and take a range one shot at that front one. Oh. And yeah, now, yeah, now it happened to be where he's now taking two range one shots if if he decides to shoot at him. And he has no shots. Yep. And, well, three range one shots, because there's three TIE fighters there. Well, Howard's got to move still. Howard's got to move still. Oh, and the striker. Oh, striker's probably gonna do a one Type hard. One, yeah. Yep. Dude, bye bye Poe. Yeah. This is not looking pretty. There's yep. the tight one. I bet you Mitch is loving this. He's like, you yep. put Poe where? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then because it bumped, no token on Poe. Yeah. Right. So can't use Poe's ability. I kind of like Luke's ability more. Like, if Luke was in a T-70, I would run Luke. Oh, my gosh. No yeah. kidding, right? Hey, FFG, make a T-70 Luke card. <laughs> because, you know, Luke's going to be a new A-wing. He has to fly something, right? I think Luke could be a new A-wing. Because there's going to be a new A-wing in the movie. You think Luke will fly an A-wing? I think so. Nah, Luke go back to his roots, man. He's got to fly his X-wing. <laughs> He's probably not going to be flying anything. <laughs> I mean, not. Uh, and if he does, it'll be a T-65. We're like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Is Howard forgetting a focus? I didn't see a focus token. I didn't see a focus token either. Uh, it won't matter. Howard Runner always rolls planes. Oh, maybe oh. not. Oh, he does have focus. focus. There it is. So two, shooting the Y. And he's going to crack shot. So the Y is going to take two damage. Why is shooting the Y? Oh, probably doesn't have a shot on Poe. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't have a shot on Poe. And size, okay, he has enough ships facing that Y, you can actually eliminate it. Yeah. So. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, for sure. Now he's yeah, he's trying to find for Howrunner's ability. I think uh, the striker's just out of range. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Try and get them through temple. I dare you. Okay, <laughs> just leave it there. Don't even bother with it anymore. Oof, five, five dice. dice. Must be a po. Two. Oh, he's doing the striker here first to see how much damage he does to. Um, Poe, and then he's going to decide, okay, am I going to keep shooting at the Y-Wing or shoot at Poe with my other two ships? Wait, can you imagine for us at that Y-Wing? I mean, just get rid of the Y-Wing. Yeah. And then have your ship that's in the front shoot the Y-Wing next, and then your ship's in back, shoot it at Poe if the Y-Wing's not dead yet. Yeah. You know, because you got two range one shots know. from the all shields are gone. All shields are gone on Poe. He can just eliminate Poe here. Well, now he could. Now he could. Lucky. But does he? I would. You would, but does he? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, he's doing the front one first. Okay, so he's choosing the order very carefully. Yeah. Um, to see how much damage he gets. 
Because the front one only shot it has is on yeah. the flyway. Well, I mean. So he takes a shield and two damage cards. There you go. Now both are equal except Lyming doesn't have integrated astromech. Yep. And the Lyming can regen. So now he's seeing range one if it's range one of the Y Wing. Nope. But focus for two. So he does shoot the Y Wing. The Poe doesn't have regen, so it's not a big deal if you don't shoot at Poe. Yeah. The Y Wing does, so that's you know. Yeah. That's my pick. So yeah. Oh, last TIE Fighter, range two. Focus. There you go, and it has a crack shot left, so it's dead. Yep. Here we go. And there's no pilot skill trade on the attacks, so it just yep. goes. Yep. Nice. So sorry, sorry, Captain Kirk. Pretty good trade. You probably he probably hates that. I probably thought not say that to him. Yeah. Probably, sorry, Sam. I'll stop. Probably happens a lot. <laughs> probably. It's probably annoying. <laughs> I'll laugh if you put in the overlay Captain Kirk as his name. I'm not going to do that. No, no. I want Sam to come back to our story. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Z95 shooting. Range one. Woohoo! Ooh, nice. I think it's three hits. Well, that dice is really shiny. Oh, two, oh, two hits. You need to it out. So, back to Dials. He doesn't have any more shots. Sorry for the young guys. We're recording late tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you are both yawning here. Woohoo. Hyperspace. Oh. I should probably un want sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. I only do crit sound effects right now. <laughs> Punch of Chewy. He punches it. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so 3k turn from that academy. And that one turn the wrong way was completely useless. And now he's coming on the, from the back now. Yeah. It made Poe try to BB-8 and get in that position. That kind of sucked. He was going to one bank anyway. So on his Dallas. I think he changed direction. Yeah, but if he one banked into the TIE Fighter, like if he didn't have BB-8 and just one banked into the TIE Fighter... Yeah. He would have had any shots coming his way, and he would have taken a shot. He should have just not BB-8 right there. Yeah, he should have not BB-8. And on top of that, um, let's say he didn't BB-8, right? Okay. The Wyoming and the Zandify would be dead. Oh, because it took shots away? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So instead of shooting, the, because the Striker shot at Poe, and the Striker rolled like four hits. Right yeah. Zandy 5, no tokens, two defense dice, four hits, it's a dead Z. Yeah, true. You know, so he'd driving easy and be dead. Very sure. So he's self bumping here. Yep. Yeah, bumps again. And it's probably gonna four K. Yeah, four K. So it's exactly what you described earlier. No, he's doing a too hard here. Oh, too hard? Oh, no. He's doing a 3K. 3K. So that's what you described earlier, where, you know, you can choose to order your ships and then have the last one K turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One time I was playing against uh, one of our locals, and I I did that. Like, I was in a bot, or in a, a two columns, kind of. I just yeah. one hearted into each other. And um, so I didn't really move at all. Yeah. And I just had like this range one shot at this K wing, just eliminated it. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, get out of there! Is he doing the talent roll? That'd be That'd sweet. Be so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. That. Dodge all the arcs. Getting range one shots. Very nice. I gotta say that's like the move of the game right here. Yeah. Congratulations, Sam! You won our move of the day, and your Easter egg from earlier. Uh, he tries taking a focus action. That's illegal. Takes a stress action. I uh, see. Probably just got the wrong token. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's not Elo Asti. Yeah. That was actually one of the prizes at this kit. It was Elo Asti yeah. Elo Tart. Although, I like Nin Nub better. Yeah, I think. Yeah, with Push the Limit and Patent Analyzer. It is. Because then, like, you do your talent roll. You're like, if you have to boost to get the range one, you boost to get the range one. 
push the limit with because you're still doing pattern analyzer, right? You receive two stress tokens, then you mm. remove two stress tokens, <laughs> and you're ready to do it all over again next round. Yep, I do think Neen's better, definitely. They should have made a Neen alt art. Do they have yeah, one? but they tend not to do ships that like I don't know. They're like low, lower pilot skill. That's Cause like spot, not, right? not played too often. So is it OS you played a lot? No. They tend to do ships that aren't played too often. Oh, has Nin played a lot? Uh, Nin's played more than Elo, but oh, okay. even then, still, like it could have played, could have done Nin and would have been. You, you think they would do ships that are played more often? Yeah, but they're weird. Because people can show off their alt arts. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but World's Prizes came out today. <gasps> what are they? Uh, the participation prize is an alt art. Ray. I mean, they came out last week. They came out. Oh yeah, sure, last week from this yes. video. Um, oh, let's get some fighting here before I start talking about it. Okay. Uh, so two hits, or three hits, and like three naturals of fades. No. Not really. That happens. All right. But why? It's got to roll the dice. All right. So what's with, with the world prizes? Uh, the first space prize is uh, Ray alt arts. <gasps> cool. That aren't very nice. They look like someone just put a paint filter on in Photoshop and called really? it good. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then uh, the target locks are pretty cool. We're up? Ooh. Yeah, they're like gold. gold oh, and that's black. nice. Yeah. All right, so taking some damage here on Poe. One, two. Oh, oh it's a. It's, is it face up? It's face up. Oh, no. Poe is stunned. Stunned pilot crit card. Whew. Ouch. All right, and then this next one he's going to have to integrate to stay alive. They're kind of talking about how integrate works, if you can integrate the stun pilot or not. You could. You can integrate uh, after you reveal. Yeah. But he decides not to do that, and he's going to integrate this damage sensor array. Oh, no. Another crit card. I would have integrated from the get-go stun pilot. Yeah, Look there's at so many. TIE fighters. Yeah, there's so many ships on the board. <laughs> you can just bump and die. Yeah. Damage sensor, you can at least BB-8 and still do something, maybe. Yeah. Well, you don't have push, but... You still got BB-8. You can Ooh, fix it. Easter eggs. Oh, Easter eggs! Um, in the previous round, he forgot to do it, but he killed the Millennium Falcon, so he got the... Uh, this game is not for action figures Easter egg. Yep. Because of the... Little satellite. Little satellite that tilts forward and backwards. Yeah. So. People don't think that one has, like, movable parts, but technically it does. So, whatever. Yep. I was happy to give it to him. And uh, he pulled an Easter egg and he got an all dark card for Tactician. Very nice. I like the, the, those new Tacticians. They're pretty cool looking. I don't like how they're a limited upgrade, but whatever. Yeah. Well, limited just means one per ship. Yeah. Yeah. True. So, I mean, you can have four ships with Tacticians. Yeah. Alright, so two hits on the Z95. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a range one for Howlrunner, so it's only two hits. Two blanks. Two blanks. <laughs> no! Oh, that's half health for that Z95. Yeah. Poor guy. So I'm give him an Astro McKean's integrated. I'll run the reroll. Nothing. Very nice. Alright. Uh, I'll, no. I'll run the reroll. Hit crit. Two hits. Or yeah, hit crit. Oh. And I think he crack shots. For the crit card, huh? Oh no, this is on Poe. That's oh, it's the Academy pilot. No. Yep. Which one had Arc on Poe? Striker. Striker already shot. That's how he got the damage cards. I don't know. Probably the Academy pilot, range three. But why three dice? Uh, yeah, exactly. Maybe that. Oh, there's a second Tie yeah, Fighter okay, right there. There we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. So many Tie Fighters and they're blending in. That must have been a focus. A hit focus. Yeah. So, Poe is dead. Do you think the Z95 can pull it off? Well, the win condition here would be to kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He could kill everything but the Academy pilot and oh, go to Final right. Salvo. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Is it possible? No. No. Rebellions I mean, are no, built on actually, hope. Actually, technically, it is possible. Oh, is it likely? No. Yeah. <laughs> Rebellions are built on hope, though. It's all good. Yeah. Everything's fine. Save the rebellion. Save the dream. 
All right, oh. so he forgot about that stress token, so he put it out there. He didn't take a focus, so it's all good. Yep. Washes. Academy's going to do like a two bank. Two straight. Two straight. All good. Where is he going to go? So he just might as well just do two straight. I would 4K. Just for fun? He's stressed already, though. He can't. No, the Z. He did a one straight. Oh, the Z. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I would just 4K just because... No guts, no glory. No guts, no glory. You're going to die sometime. Make I mean, it today. Yeah, he's 95 <laughs> pilots. So he might as well. Yeah. What's he do? Hey, that looks like a four speed. Is it a K turn? Let's see. Oh, that looks like he had three. Oh, oh. There we go. Did he have a 3K? I guess it's a 3K, not a 4K. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, K turn. Did what I thought. I just didn't know the speed. Yep. All right. Is that you told the cops? Yep. I did what I thought. I just didn't know the speed. Yeah. And he had to take it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two bank green. Clear stress. I like that funny little spin to get in the two bank green. Yeah. It's got to put a little sloop action. Mm -hmm. Focus. He's going to block up Hal Runner. Hal Runner's going to probably get a range one shot here. Um... Debating on how to do this order. He bumps with that guy. And then it's going to move Howl Runner. So, oh, oh, yeah. The there's a striker has to move still, too. Yeah, but he's at PS8. Oh, he's about Howl Runner? Yeah. Oh, then there's that one that's like behind it that we forgot about. Yep. So he's going to bump in there. And then, so I, I wonder what Howrunner's going to do, because then I would just move Howrunner right now and bump, because if he does a two bank, he's not going to fit in between there, and then move Sabak. Sabak's doing a two sloop. Yeah. Or maybe Howrunner just does a 3k, or 4k, I mean. Yeah, that works too. The one tight. Well, he's using that as a mark to mark it. Yeah. So there we go. 4K. Maybe that's not Howling right there. Now he's away from everyone. I don't know. Well, you got to set up a shot. You just got to set up a shot. Yeah. If you get, I mean, with one Z95 with one health left, I don't think he's worried about the Howling Runner rerolls. Yeah. True. Or two health left, but still. If you get enough guns pointed at the target... You'll get it. Yeah. So he does his pre-maneuver just a bump and then does a 2K. Okay. So a couple TIE Fighters have focuses and they happen to be at range one of that Z95. So Howl Runner first, so that is Howl Runner. Uh, so hit crit, who needs actions? <laughs> who needs action? And, and throw a blank. Wow. Good right, job, guys. guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, we record these episodes at SoCal Games and Comics, so please join us for a game, join us for league, and join us for tournaments. And you get on camera, too. Yep. And, yeah, so join our Facebook page, SCGC X-Wing Minis. Yep. Uh, we post tournaments on there. Every month we have one, so yep. come out and join us. Look us up. Have a great night, guys. Bye.